Now, point of sale operators across the country, under the auspices of the Association of Mobile Money and Bank Agents of Nigeria, Amben, have appealed to President Muhammad Buhari to prevail on the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, to review the current threshold for daily cash maximum withdrawal upward. Now, the national president of Amban, Victor Olojo, who addressed journalists, said over 1.4 million people will lose their jobs if the policy is not reviewed upward. In the letter to the president dated December 16, the group requested an upward review of the maximum withdrawal limit to 500,000 naira weekly for individuals and 3 million naira for corporate organizations. Believe and key in to the cashless policy of the CBN. But the reality is that at this time, at this time, we stand more to lose than to gain with the policy. And that's why we immediately came. Um, top of it is that there is no clarification or clear distinction as to the role of mobile money and bank agents in the policy that was released. What that means is that if that policy is followed and um, followed a debt to in total, over 1.4 million POS, POS operators and their dependents and many other persons who are plugged into the value chain of our business will lose their jobs because 20,000 Naira would send us out of business if that is all we have access to in a day. In closing, I want to state very clearly that once again, the Association of Mobile Money and Bank Agents in Nigeria believes in the CBN and we actually support the cashless policy of the CBN. But our appeal is that stakeholders should be properly engaged so that this issue can be better managed. The group said it had interacted with the chairman, Senate Committee on Banking, Insurance and other financial institutions, Senator Obasani, his counterpart in the House of Representatives, Honorable Victor Ngokolo, on the matter. Today, a lot of agent locations, we have stopped USSD transfer because this is what is leading our members to the prison. By the time you transfer to them, police will come the second day and arrest you to provide the person that, that, that transferred to you. So if you are now encouraging bank transfer, USSD, and all these channel transfers, then receiver of the money should not be uh, at, at a liability to what uh, you know initiator. Because before you can initiate a transaction, you must have provided PIN and password. So why should I that receive such transaction be liable you know, to fraud? and arrest and police harassment mm -hmm. so if you are even if you go to go grocery shops they are no longer accepted transfers because they don't want troubles so these are the necessary infrastructure that we expected cbn to have hello hope you enjoyed the news please do subscribe to our youtube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates